Hey Bear Creek kids, I'm glad that you guys could join me again this week. Um, if I were to guess, I bet a lot of you guys like to build things with blocks at home. Well, today I brought in um, an example of a creation that was made at my house. And this was made by my biggest kid. And by my biggest kid, I mean Pastor Rodney. Uh, Pastor Rodney probably enjoys building things like this just as much as you guys do. Um, and he's pretty good at it. Now, have you ever been working on something like that and had it fall apart before you were finished and you had to rebuild? Or even worse yet, have you had someone purposefully knock it down and had to rebuild? That really stinks, doesn't it? Well, sometimes people get knocked down too. And I bet if you think about it, you know some people like that. Maybe you know someone who has a loved one that's sick or has died. Uh, maybe you know a family that's going through job loss. Or maybe you know somebody who's being bullied or just really having a hard time at school. When people are hurting, they need compassion. Sometimes we can be insensitive and ignore those people, can't we? We can ignore those around us who really need our help to rebuild. Let's take a look at the book of Romans, chapter 12, verses 9 through 13, and see if the Bible can tell us how we should help those people. Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 13. Don't just pretend that you love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Stand on the side of good. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Never be lazy in your work, but serve the Lord enthusiastically. Be glad for all God is planning for you. Be patient in trouble and always be prayerful. When God's children are in need, be the one to help them out. So the Bible is telling us if we see someone who is hurting and in need, we should try to help them out. Um, if we don't, we're really causing them more hurt, and we are uh, prolonging that rebuilding that needs to take place. If you know a family that's going through financial troubles, you know, maybe your family can take them dinner one night, or maybe even buy them some groceries, put a few extra things in your shopping cart, when you're at the grocery store. If you know someone who's sad, maybe pick up the phone and give them a call or put a card in the mail just to let them know that you're thinking of them and praying for them. And if someone that you know doesn't know Jesus as their Lord and Savior, then share that precious gift of salvation with them and tell them that there is hope. And no matter what someone's situation is, you can always pray for that person. That is a huge gift and a huge help when they're trying to rebuild. So the next time that you see someone who's hurting, help them rebuild, just like you would rebuild one of your creations. And remember that when you help one of God's children, you're doing something very special for God. Let's close in prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for the children of Bear Creek, and we pray for their good health and their safety. And Lord, please open our eyes so that we can see those around us who are hurting and guide us, Lord, to help them rebuild and most of all, to come to know you as their Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. See you next week, guys.